Schlitzberger Stone Designs welcomes you to the world of natural stone with the finest in custom fabrication and installation. Whether it's for your home or business, new construction or remodeling, custom fabricated natural stone will add character and warmth unmatched by other materials. Making the decision to choose Schlitzberger Stone Designs is making the right decision. Schlitzberger Stone Designs, a family-owned and operated stone fabrication and installation company, offers 43 years of experience in the industry and state-of-the-art equipment to ensure a quality product every time. After your selections are made, your slabs will be brought to Schlitzberger's facility. That's where the fabrication process will begin. Schlitzberger Stone pays special attention to the design, measuring, fabrication, and installation of your granite. You can always count on their qualified and reliable team. Your natural stone slabs are fabricated, sealed, and polished to ensure your countertop will never scratch or burn. Experience the beauty and elegance of granite or other natural stone provided to you with superior installation by Schlitzberger Stone. Hi, I'm Tommy Schlitzberger and I'm here at the home of David and Paula Tomasi and we're going to show you around his house a little bit. David would like to tell you a little bit about what we did in his home. Well, Tommy did just about everything my wife wanted from countertops to bathrooms to other counters to the backyard but primarily she wanted a nice looking kitchen uh, with a lot of granite primarily all over the splashboard, the windows, anywhere she could put it and uh, mix it in with the stainless steel and, and built the sinks which were real nice out of granite so we didn't have to worry about what color sinks we needed and how they were going to look. Got a great job, good service out of it. What I like about Tony, you go to his shop, you can look around, he could explain things to you, took us to a different place to get the raw granite. Basically did a great job, good service. Boy, get a hold of him, he'll answer any questions on cell phone, which I like. I'm real happy with his quality of work, and his workers too did a great job. Took the time to uh, do it right. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tom. The granite here is done with the bull nose edge. It's an extra thick bull nose edge. As you notice, as it makes the corners, the corners are radiused over. The granite falls down below the countertop and butts off onto the stainless steel, including the granite baseboards. Really trims out the stainless steel excellent, hides where the stainless steel joints are at. You'll notice the countertop is extra deep wide. It's over two feet in its, in its depth from front to back, giving you plenty of leg room underneath so people's feet do not kick onto the baseboard. We're now looking at the granite sink in the high-low bar application. This sink is on the pool side of the house, and you can see the sink is made out of the exact same color granite as the countertop, so the sink virtually disappears and is in an undermount fashion. If you come down and look at the edge of the granite here where the bull nose meets out onto the stainless steel, leaves no visible edge. If you come to where the seam line is, you can see it falls into the corner and continues out across onto the high bar. All this is granite splash, so therefore you're all protected. And we did cut the plug faces directly through the granite splash. The thermidor is placed directly below the granite here, and the thermidor is a microwave-style application. As you can see, again, it's all stainless steel, and it's in the dark colors. This is a very dark green granite it's called Afton Dark Green Granite, and it's from Stone Marketing Granite Company on Afton Street. On the island countertop in the center of the kitchen, you can see the stainless steel cabinets in front that blend onto the wood as you make the edge of the countertop on the ends. If you can see, this has no vent hood above you, so the vent is built into the island. 
and can keep all the fumes from bothering people in the kitchen. Again, we built a double hole granite sink in this application. The double hole granite sink is splashed up onto a windowsill and the windowsill continues all the way up against the wood cabinets and we even duplicated the crown molding at the top for the little moldings that go around and meet up with the granite. The granite splash makes this a maintenance free kitchen. This is Paula's China Buffet cabinet. Again, if you notice, the cabinets below it are very beautiful and open and closed with all of her plates and dishes into it. And again, I've used an inch and a half bull nose here, and I've brought my backsplash up and onto the wall to cure any deficiencies in the movement of the wall. This is David Paula's three-sided fireplace in their grand room. If you notice, we have done what we call a finger edge molding. It repeats my fingers here, hiding all visible seam lines on the project. If you notice, the marble wraps in and wraps in, comes up to the fireplace here, and again, we have another molding going up. But again, the marble goes up above it and has a molding at the very top. These moldings all the way down are of pure white Drama marble. It is Thassos white from Greece. It's a very famous marble. If you notice, we continued all the way down and did the baseboard in marble. Now we're in David and Paula's master bedroom. We'd like to show you how beautiful. She has a wonderful marble credenza top over on the side of her bed. It's stunning and antique. This marble credenza top butts up against the wall that's next to her wonderful fireplace. This fireplace is supreme, white fossils marble. Almost no imperfections in it. The marble is cut so that the joint lines and fill all go wrapped around the corner and makes a beautiful extension into the room. We're in their master bathroom and as if you will notice, the granite continues all the way up the wall in a single sheet. It has beautiful shower heads that come through. All the controls are cut directly through the granite, maintenance free forever. As you look up on this wall, you can see the granite goes much higher than you can spray or have a problem with. The granite in this room is called Guanabara Blue, and this granite is from ABC Granite Company. The tub deck and surround is all done in granite again. As you see, the windowsill in granite, the backsplash, up against the wall, and all the way to the return over here, including dropping the edges onto it in a polished surface so that it's nice and easy to trim with the paint carpenters. And the tub deck rolls inside, so there is no place for dirt to sit around your tub. If you notice how the corners at the tub are mitered together so that there's no visible seam line. Comes down and that is a silicone caulk line that runs between the tub and the granite. Therefore, there's no way for water to penetrate. That seamless return comes all the way around. If you notice the wonderful little blue crystal in the Guanabara blue granite. It's an absolutely perfect material. All right, we're in Paul and David's master bathroom, and this is the vanity where they do their morning makeup at. If you notice, we brought the splash up high. We mounted the faucets in. There's no more cleaning, no more dirt to get around the faucets. It's a complete clean area, undermounted sink, so everything pushes down into it. As you can see, we roll down here with the bullnose in, and look at these wonderful little cabinet knobs that she used on her cabinets. You can see as we move down to the other end, both sinks are on the same top. It's a single piece, extra long of the Guanabara blue granite. Again, the faucets are in the wall. Just absolutely wonderful way of taking care of everything. And this is David's kitchen, the outside kitchen. As you will notice, the granite is Impala Black Granite from Rustenburg, South Africa. It is the thicker stone, it's a three centimeter and I bulldoze the edge, making it two and a quarter inch thick. You can see the sink is undermounted and a fairly large box for the sink. 
I brought the backsplashes up against the brick fairly high so that when you splash things it would be clean. As you can see as you follow down the edge here we have the big beautiful Viking barbecue pit for the exterior. You come down we have another piece of granite that sits in here and continues along the backsplash so any splatter that could happen is there. And then next you have your electronic little heating grill and you come on down and you can see the granite and where it makes the radius corner back into the wall, the backsplash fits up onto it. It's a very maintenance free area. No matter it's outside and a lot of things can happen, this area will always be beautiful. This granite will last forever. This is the granite kitchen outdoor that we showed you with the barbecue pit. And I'd like you to look down and see the slate floor that accompanies it. It's 16 by 16, diagonally set, slate tiles from Africa called Silver Gray. It's bordered with gray pearl, flame finished granite on all the exteriors and the steps coming down. Very slip resistance for being around the pool area and it will always be beautiful. I'm at David and Paula's pool area, and if you notice in the granite again, we did what's called beach front. The slab goes down at an angle so that the water comes back. This is the drain side over here. The water runs down in a continuous drain along the edge of the pool next to the flame finish granite that's the stairs. And this is a sandblasted finish, giving it a softer and more even blue-gray color below the water line. If you look out this direction here, you can see the baluster cap for the stairs. This is the infinity edge of the pool where the water slides down over on a polished surface, causing the water to have a waterfall on this side of the pool. The lake, being off pond to my hard left, is where you can pull up with your boat. You see only the people's heads in the pool, and you see the waterfall down this side. It's an absolutely beautiful view. I just want to thank David and Paula for allowing us to film their home. As you can see, we've really tried hard to make everything good. I want to thank you very much, David. Thank you very much, Tommy. Hi, David. How are you? Uh, Tommy, I'm wonderful. And how are you Good, today? Good, fine. I came in to ask you about your kitchen. Oh, I tell you, Tommy, this is just a wonderful, wonderful thing that has happened to this house. You know, Tommy, I'm into multitask positions, so I have to cook and I have to clean. Yes. And I'm always looking for a, a countertop that's conducive to my cooking and my cleaning. That's right. So this has everything that I look for and more. Not only is it easy to clean, it's very durable. It makes me want to clean it in the cost of its beauty. I'm always cleaning, but I don't have to keep cleaning over and over again. When I clean, I can see that I have already cleaned the first time, and I, have to, I don't have to keep looking to see if everything has to be done over again. That's right. All you do is look at the reflection, and you yes. know you're done. Yes, Tommy. So I, well, I want to really you. thank you, David, for letting us do your kitchen, and I hope as the years go along, we'll do many more projects together. Thank you, David. Thank you so very much, Tommy. Hi, now I'm going to show you a few things and tell you a little bit about the kitchen. The kitchen's still in a remodeling process. The cabinets will be changed, all the appliances are going to be changed, and some of the artwork will be changed out into it. But the most important part, the granite countertops and the backsplashes and the floors are now in place. This countertop here has an OG edge on the top with a full bull nose protruding. Therefore, there's no visible seam lines into the countertop. If you look at the backsplash, it's done on a herringbone pattern, and much consideration was given to the size of each brick as it went into place. Above it, of course, we did the window sill into the window. The granite sink is undermounted as per the manufacturer's specifications showing the stainless steel lip. This was what was discussed with the customer and the way the customer wanted the stainless steel to show in all places on his sink. 
If you notice, as you come back over here to where the little uh, water fountain is, you see this little spot here. That's almost a perfect garnet. It's hard to see with the film, but it's a very beautiful color. The pattern continues on down through into the backsplash up in here, the veining across it, the backsplash right into the corner with some under counter lighting. The under counter lightings are going to be changed also with some new lighting. It again will change the kitchen completely when they change their lighting. If you'll notice the cabinet for the cooktop here is a rectangle. The box is 24 inches long and it's 61 inches this way. So let's look what we did. You can see I overhung here so that he protrudes out on an arc. Come let me show you how nice it looks here. Instead of being a straight line across, we picked up this much more cabinet top from the cooktop over, giving more room for David to present his dishes on. Again, we did an OG with a bull nose. If you notice, there's no visible seam line. And if you notice, the veining crosses because it's book matched. It takes a lot of time to make it book matched, but that's why you have a beautiful countertop. I want to show you here how the granite blends with the backsplash. As you notice, the patterns are in similar colors of different designs. The grout lines are all matched. It's a wonderful background for Mr. DeGeorge's wine collection. Now that you've seen the beautiful edge work on the cooktop, I'd like to bring you down and show you their floors that we designed. If you remember, this pattern matches the backsplash only in a different size format. It is the same color of stone, but the edges of this are all done in fine joint lines, minimalized by cutting each and every tile to fit on the floor. Maximum consideration was given to the under cabinet look because we knew the cabinets were going to be refaced. So we covered all the way back under. If you look, the pattern has a very natural look. This floor will last forever. I want to first thank Mr. Lance DeGeorge for his wonderful testimony about our company and our attention to detail. I'd like to show you some of those details at this time. This sink is a drop-in type sink that sits on top of the countertop and your seal is under here. The faucet handles go through the face of the sink. The backsplash follows directly up out of the same material into the glass mirrors above it. On this side, we went directly to sheetrock because of the toothpaste and things like that. It's a wonderfully long cabinet for the ladies' side. You have the little chair that you can pull out to put your makeup on. When you come down to the end, there's plenty of room for your drawers and all to sit out underneath the cabinet. The man's vanity is always much smaller than the ladies' vanity. And as you can see, we duplicated the edge here, came over and did the same sink here, much shorter distance, and the four inch splash right up onto the glass mirror. You can see it comes back onto this side here with the other mirror. Still has room for his toothpaste, his glass jar, and the beautiful sink. Okay, now I'd like to walk in and show you the shower. Come on around over here. As you can see, we now have glass doors here where it used to be a little frosted window door. And I put down a beautiful piece of the, the travertine golden from IGM on the slab so the seat is nice and comfortable. The walls are all done in a Turkish limestone in a hone finish that's been sealed. I made a little shelf for the soap and another little shelf above it. If you can see, we redid all the fixtures into it. I don't do plumbing, but we helped pick what we were using here so that we'd have a modernistic look. We again added in the little bit of row tile, row lock on a red travertine done in a one by two pattern. Again, if you notice the detail of how it meets up in the corner, it takes a lot of time and planning to make a shower as beautiful as this. 
We're now at the tub and tub deck area. As you can see here, we continued with the OG and the bullnose edge. This is a wonderful travertine called Golden Travertine from IGM. The tub sits on top of the marble. If you come from here and go towards the backsplash here behind the telephone, instead of, I'm going to move the phone, instead of leaving this in strips, we cut the panel out of the middle and inlaid a one by two row lock of red travertine into the solid golden travertine. And that continues on back underneath the beautiful stained glass window. And as you can see, the wonderful chandelier up above it. Makes this bathroom an excellent bathroom to be seen, to use, it's comfortable, plenty of room around it, and we'd really like to give you a quote on doing something like this for your home. My name is Lance DeGeorge, and this is my father's personal residence. Uh, I am a residential designer, and I appreciate the Schlitzberger's attention to detail uh, that they uh, gave my father in his home with uh, the stone and the interaction with the other materials that are present uh, in the bathroom. So he did an excellent job. Hi, I'm Tommy Slitzberger with Slitzberger Stone. We're at the home of Linda Hartsook. We redesigned her fireplace that originally had 12 by 12 tiles on here and was all one color. Because of the granite that she selected and the style of the TV that was put up under it, we pushed the granite up under it so the TV holds completely free, has no support. The granite is solid looking because it's in a four inch format and it even wraps back down into the firebox. As you can see here, this is all one slab with no seam lines on it, creating the illusion that it's just one big boulder of stone. It also wraps back into the wall, and then we brought it down onto the hearth. The hearth butts up onto the carpet with a very simple little bevel line. What do you think of your fireplace, Linda? It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now we're gonna go into Linda's bathroom. If you can see in Linda's bathroom, again, we use the Dior of Real from Walker and Sanger. The sink is undermounted and it lifts up underneath so that all your makeup and all can be slid into it. As you can look back over here, we made her a knee space area for her to put her makeup on. And I continued it around with a little shelf for her perfumes and all to sit on. And the marble goes underneath. If you look through here, you can see that finished in all details, even where it butts up to the counters at here. The little small four inch backsplash with the bevel mirrors just have a beautiful view as it comes around. As you can see on the tub, we have put a small backsplash of the tub, and again, I use the one by one chocolate travertine for the tub deck. This skirting is all done in the marble that matches. As you can see, this is an original floor, and this marble goes around to it. Now, if you'll look into the shower, you can see how wonderful this shower is. There are two pieces of marble that are seamed at this point here around the room. And we, again, book match the material so that it appears as one large slab. If you look here where you can sit at, this is a wonderful area. The flooring is all out of the same marble. It's not a slippery floor. It has a sealer on it. The the little sill that sits up here for you to step over allows for the water to go down into the tub. It's an absolutely beautiful room. Again, with his vanity, we did the four inch splashes around, but up to the mirror. The bevel mirror reflects beautifully onto the countertop. Again, we've used the undermount sink and the faucets that are mounted on deck through the sink. Notice we bowed the front out on his to give him a little bit more room and not intrude into the workspace area. Now we're in Linda's bedroom, and this is her fireplace. 
Originally, her fireplace was 12 by 12 marble tiles. We took it out and redesigned the entire fireplace. We used one slab of the marble Diala Real, and as you notice, it's a vein pattern. That vein continues to wrap it around on each side, but on the interior, I used a one by one chocolate travertine tile to give it a little accent. That travertine tile also is used here to make her mantle appear to be very thick. It also comes down onto the floor and used it on the hearth next to the carpet. But because there was so much of it, Linda asked me to do a piece of marble for her hearth to get it. When you come around and look at it here, you can see that the edge radiuses around the corner here and continues back to the wall next here to the plasma TV. If you can look here, and you can see that the vein lines here wrap completely around and are book matched up onto the stone. Each of the lines looking as though it is a continuous piece hiding the visual seam line. It's a very beautiful fireplace. We've come from Linda's fireplace and now we're going to look into her kitchen. This is the view from the living room and if you notice we made the bullnose two and a quarter inches thick and we radius the corners on it. This granite is called Jupiter on a Nambi. It comes from Walker and Zanger. It overhangs. The sink will be located over here, and we'll come around and look at that in a moment. But look at, follow me over here, as you can see the high bar overhangs onto the peninsula, making a nice return here where it comes down from the seating area. As you can see here on the little peninsula end of her island, she has these wonderful lights and cabinetry here to all blend together. This is the angle I wanted to show you of how we overhung in the radius on a full radius here for the high bar so that you hide this turn in the thing. This is a very detail oriented piece. If you notice, it goes back on both sides. There's no seam line visible at this point. Okay, here I want to show you where the splash is done between the high bar and the low bar. Now, if you notice, we cut the electrical plug faces through here, so they're virtually hidden from everywhere. Again, as you see, it wraps around the corner here. Much attention was paid to how the material butted up to each other so that the material looks the same. The sink underhangs here, so when you push things off into the sink, they fall all the way down. As you can see, I wipe the water off. There's no place for dirt or grime to get. Again, here is another of the joint lines going back into the corner, continuing over into the bar area above the dishwasher. We're now at Linda's Kitchen Island. As you can see in the island, we have the little veggie sink built under, mounted again. As you can see, it underhangs here, so everything is pushed off into the sink. And this is a polished returned area here. As you can see, we continue the inch and a half bullnose edge around the countertop. This, the cooktop sits on top and has a pop-up type vent hood. As you come over here, you can see we cut this corner to match up with her sink that's across from it at this side here. You can see the little pop-up runs up into it to suck down all the fumes as it goes. And it's real easy to control. The, the, the island wraps back across the back side here, allowing you to have room to put things here while you're cooking. And you can set things up on the countertop so that you can prepare for later. If you'd like to get a 360 degree view of the room, you can see how wonderful everything looks all coordinated together. Even as we went through to her dining room here, which was punched out into a door, we continued the granite for the border because there was no more of the marble tile that's available here. So we cut it and wrapped it for the step down into her next room. We're now at Linda's wet bar, adjacent to her kitchen. As you can see, the stainless steel undermount sink in here with the beautiful stainless steel fixtures. The high bar again is a two and a quarter inch full bullnose, making it appear very thick. 
as you look back across into the kitchen, you can see how this area is accented by the area next to it. For a beautiful kitchen like this, we would invite you to let us give you a free estimate in your home. Contact us at